everyone, Jeff again, Elite Sports Shooting. Today we're down at the range and it is a beautiful day here in October 2022. I have the Braid at Titano 930i in my hands. I've been doing some shooting this morning with it and it looks absolutely amazing, but it's like we're dating and we're getting to know each other. The, the Breda Titano 930i was actually designed for sport shooting. Uh, designed for shooting just like this. And I've actually tried to tailor it to the, to, to the, the type of shooter that I am. It did come with counterweights that you could actually put here on the, uh, the fore end cap. You can also take off the, uh, the rubber butt pad and put one or, or two in there just to give it a little bit more balance. I left the back end alone and I put two in the front, two two ounce weights in the front because when I swing, I, 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 like to, I don't like it to go too fast. So that was kind of like my reasoning behind the, you know, the two weights in the front. I left the back, I adjusted the, uh, the comb just a little bit, and now I, and I swapped out uh, chokes, so I put the uh, uh, improved modified choke in here. It is a 30 inch barrel, so it's a little bit longer than, um, it's two inches longer than my Beretta A400, and four inches longer than my A300. So. I've just been trying to play with it a little bit and try to tailor this the best that, uh, that I can for myself. And down at the range, I already had some people this morning. Just, uh, they, it, this is a showstopper. This is quite eye appealing. So, <clears throat> Shooting clays is a lot of fun, but if you can look good doing it, why can't you have both? So I'm gonna put some more rounds down range and uh, you guys can have a look. And then we'll we'll have a little bit of a closer look at the, uh, at the Breda Titano 930i. So as you can see there, I had one misfire. It had a, it was just a, uh, not even a failure to cycle. It was a failure to load. It's not sure exactly what the, the issue is. Now, when I'm shooting the, um, I've said it in the past, the Challenger loads, but there's a difference between the light target loads and the handicap loads. So uh, until probably maybe a month ago, I had never seen light target loads for the Challenger. So the place that I buy my ammunition in Coaldale, and I've bought in some shotguns there as well, they actually do did not sell. They, they're like ammunition is scarce where I am right now, but the, the the light target loads, the Challenger light target loads came in, as well as the Winchester and the Federal, the Federal Top Guns, and they all had the muzzle velocity of 1145 feet, 1145 feet per second, where the Handicap loads are generally 1,200 or higher, between that 12, 1,300 feet per second. So this here has a 
has been pretty good with the light target loads. I've been trying to play with it a little bit. But I do get jams every now and then. So I'm going to play with this a little bit more. I'm going to go grab some more ammunition. Maybe I'll grab some challenger rounds and uh, we'll have a look-see. So what I have is the number eights. One and one eighth ounce, three dram, 1,278 feet per second. Oh, sorry, 1,200 feet per second. So, and they are the Challenger target loads. I'm just gonna dump them in my pouch. I have to say, this is probably the most beautiful gun that I've ever seen. So I'm going to shoot some more and you guys can watch. The nice thing about the target or the challenger rounds is they're actually color coordinated with the shotgun. I do like the Challenger rounds a little bit better. They are a little bit faster and they actually look really nice with the anodized finish on the, uh, on the oversized controls here. So we're gonna shoot a couple more rounds. We got a jam again. So we've had two jams since I've been here. So now it might just need a cleaning. This is a an inertia operated system, so it requires less cleaning. But I broke one of my rules. After I put it together, I did not take it apart. I thought it was too beautiful to take apart again. But uh, I should have actually taken it home or taken it apart and did a, a, a just a quick cleaning on it before I brought it down to the range. It's, it's my own process that I did not do. But so first impressions, really good. Um, still getting used to it I'm used to a 28 inch barrel this 30 inch barrel with the extended choke is throwing me off just a little bit and I don't know why um, it shouldn't make that much of a difference it does have the the mid bead and the fiber optic four bead so for me getting on the target is not a big deal it mounts really well Maybe I have to uh, lower the comb just a little bit because I brought it up just a touch. Yeah, so. <clears throat> Anyways. That's it for me. I will probably do another follow-up video in maybe a couple of months after I've put in some more rounds down range with this right now i probably have about 150 rounds through it i'm liking it but i seem to be swapping back to my beretta um i'm i, I find that i'm less accurate with, with this maybe i just have to find the right choke i have the uh improved modified in here I had the modified in here before and it's it's almost like you had to either be right right on it to destroy the clay or you're gonna miss it all completely but 
anyways that's it for me if you have any questions or comments leave them below and as always remember to keep both eyes on your target thank you everyone